cataractcoach.com. Danger. This clear crescent red reflex indicates there's total loss of xion support. This is going to be a tough case. Severe suit exfoliation. Notice how much the anterior chamber deepens. Two millimeters in the pre-op period at the slit lamp, but here with viscoelastic, now it's four millimeters. That means the xion support's very weak. We try to go in with forceps to start the capsule rack. Let's take a look. All that wrinkling. You can't even puncture it because it's so little support. So using a sharp cystotome is helpful. Even then, look at the wrinkling of the capsule as we complete a large capsule rexus here. Here's where we're going to be surprised. A little higher dissection. Let's try to get the nucleus out of the bag. By getting the nucleus out of the bag, we'll hopefully put less stress on it. Let's see if we can save this capsule bag. So we try to lift the nucleus a little bit, and look what we see. Gently lifting that up, and we'll see carefully. Watch. There's boom. There's that red reflex. That little flash is all you're going to get. Let me show you that again here in slow motion. Lifting that up. There it is, right there. A fraction of a second you saw that flash. If you missed it, oh, you're going to be sunk. So now let's leave the nucleus as is, and we're going to do a small incision cataract surgery technique, a manual extraction. So avoid enlarging the corneal incision. You don't want to do that. Here we're making a new a scleral tunnel incision with a nice long shelf in a trapezoidal manner in the traditional SICS um, technique. Getting the nucleus out of the eye, there it goes. And now we can clean up a little bit, doing a bimanual anterior vitrectomy, 23 gauge of vitrectomy. The entire lens capsule came out of the eye as well, so there's no zonular support now. Taking your time, we have put in triamcinolone, that's that white reflex you see. A lot of triamcinolone went inside the eye, and that helps stain any of the vitreous. And we'll take our time and do a nice thorough antivitrectomy. The pupils come down nicely. We put a little bit of um, myostat inside the eye to achieve that. And we're going to now finish up the case. There's the anterior chamber lens. You certainly could have done a scleral fixated lens, such as Yamane or Agarwal or Shariath or any of these techniques that you'd like. In this case, the resident opted to do a anterior chamber lens, and also remember to do a peripheral iridotomy, and everything looks pretty good. Here at the end, we can see nicely positioned lens, and we've sealed up all the incisions. We'll close it up, and this patient will have a pretty good outcome. Thanks for watching. I want you to encourage you to check out cataractcoach.com, our teaching website. A ton of great material. Now fully organized into book chapters. So easy to find the category you're looking for. You want suit exfoliation? Click on the link at cataractcoach.com and you'll get all the suit exfoliation case we've published. Much more useful than looking here on YouTube. Thanks for watching.